So let's go ahead and see if we can't connect to the cloud. Go to the Play Store, which I'm using Android. Type in Creality Cloud, which is actually quite large. It's almost 100 megabytes, so we'll have to wait a little bit. All right, so we downloaded. Let's go ahead and open it up. And this is the main menu, so let's go to Workbench and click Add Device. So it's asking us to log in, so if you don't have an account, you're going to have to create one. So we're going to click on Sign Up. All right, so I signed up and logged in, and this is what we got here, some kind of choose your device. All right, so if we scroll down a little bit, we can see the CR10 Smart Pro here. So let's click on that. So now it's telling us to power on the printer and click on Restore Network here. So in the settings, we're going to Advance and Restore Network. It's going to ask to restore. We're going to say yes. So now we're going to click we've done this step and go to the next one. I'm going to ask for permissions here. Allow. And now it's searching for the device with Bluetooth. So we do have like a little countdown on the printer. And here it looks like it found something. So we're going to click on start network distribution. So it looks like it's trying to connect. And it failed of course. <laughs> All right. So let's try it again. Maybe it'll work this time. Oh, there we go. That was fast. Or maybe because that was still countdowning and now it went to the menu. It worked immediately after that. So here we're going to set up the Wi-Fi. I'm going to click on wireless here and I'm going to log in. Press next. Saying connected or connecting. And by the way, I am on LTE. So yeah, I'm not even on the Wi-Fi that the printer's trying to connect to. Maybe I need to go there. I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it did find the printer and we can name it here. So let's go ahead and name it the actual printer name and we'll click done and we should have a device here and there we go. And yeah, it looks like it knows everything about it and it is online right now. Let's click on it and see what happens. So here it's kind of giving us the status. We got the temperature for the nozzle, the bed, and then the speed at what we're printing. We can select files to print straight from your phone or we can read the SD card that's in the printer. And we could see this pull up one of them here. Looks a little confusing, but in any case. And you can also turn it off here straight from your phone. And by the way, we are on LTE, so we are controlling the printer from anywhere, not just near it. So yeah, we got settings on the bottom. Let's go ahead and see what that's all about down there. We got temperature, move, speed, and other controls. So we got fan and LED. Let's go ahead and try the LED here. So yeah, I'm not sure what. Okay, so when I click the fan, the fan turned on, but the LED light seems to be stuck for now. It was already on, so maybe that's the reason, I'm not sure. For some reason saying it's off, but it's not. In any case, it does seem to be functioning, and if we click on select file, you can actually bring in the file in the phone and also slice it from here. So yeah, if you're the kind of person that wants to control your printer from the phone and slice your prints and send it to it, you can do it with the Creality Cloud. So let's click on explore and see if we can find some kind of file somewhere to print. See animals maybe. Yeah, it's just taking a while to load. But yeah, hopefully we can find here something. It's a little more simple. Yeah, this slug looks pretty cool. So I guess let's click on download. So we got a copyright notice. Basically there's a certain way you can use this thing. So we're downloading it right now. I'm going to go ahead and move these prints out of the way. And I guess we'll use the same green here to print the slug if we can get it going. So I've downloaded it somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. In any case, it tells us that the printer needs an update. So let's go ahead and try to update it. It looks like it's going to initiate the update. And it's got 56 complete and going pretty quick. 82, updating firmware. All right, it says update successful. Okay, that was simple enough. There were nothing that turned off or blinked on the printer, which is quite interesting. All right, guys, so I went back to the file where I downloaded it, and I realized I needed to push this little stacked-looking button, and that's slicing. So if you click on that, it's going to open the slicer to slice the print. There we go. we got like a little slicer here. And you have all these controls here on the side, and then your parameters here on the top, which you can adjust all of them here. I definitely don't want raft, so I'm going to click on skirt and yeah there's kind of a lot to go through here but i think most of the stuff is pretty much where it needs to be so except for choosing that uh bill plate adhesion for skirt we're not going to change anything else and go ahead and click slice down here for this slug and so it's slicing it's zero percent at the moment 46 82 and there we go so now we can just click on preview or print let's go ahead and preview for fun and there we go. That's a preview there. And you can check out the layers here. Well, I guess you can push play here to go through the layers. But pretty awesome. So we can click to print down here. So we're going to choose our printer. I'm going to click confirm that it's for the right one. It's saying make sure you got nothing on the build plate. I'm going to confirm that. And it should be starting here. Okay, yeah, so it's all loading up. 
and we can see here on the screen it says cloud print so it has started and it's preheating and we got status so far downloaded okay loaded okay preheating bed and nozzle and we got the percentage there and you do have a stop button so no preview yet of any kind I see here and yeah this was not very hard to get going here and set up so let's see how it does All right, so it's a bit smaller than I thought it would be, but yeah, let's just see what happens. It looks pretty good, and it's printing here in the front corner, which is also kind of interesting. So not sure exactly that's how we sliced it, but in any case, we are printing, and everything looks good. So I'm at the cloud side looking for a print. I want to print this thing out, and I already put new filament in, and I realized I messed up a little earlier in the slicer. So if we click on the slice button, it's going to take us to the slicer and one thing I didn't do is change the printer from the Sermon V1 is what was on there to our CR10 Smart Pro which it's still loading out but let's go ahead and just click on that. So yeah now it's going to be correctly on the bed compared to what it was earlier and then maybe that's why the slug messed up was because of the wrong printer being selected so I do apologize about that. Yeah pretty good little slicer here right on the phone which is really cool. So I've never really used my phone before for slicing but Creality makes it really easy and quite detailed on all of the options. So I'm going to click on slice and we'll print it and that's our slug there. I guess we need to get rid of that thing so I'm just going to delete it here. And we'll try this low poly little owl. Click on print and it should start printing. All right, so we're at the computer and I got the CrealityCloud.com open. If you want to download their slicer, you're going to click here on the software and firmware and then software. And here we can choose between Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I'll be downloading the Mac one if I wanted to use the Creality slicer. Now what's interesting is it appears that we can also control our printer straight from the browser, which is what I'm kind of interested in. So let's go ahead and log in. All right, so we should be logged in. Let's click on Workbench here on the side and check it out. We get the uh, dashboard here of things we've done. Let's click on Devices. And we can see our printer right here. So it does appear that we can control this thing straight from the browser. Also, we have camera view, looks like. Oh, look at that. So yeah, everything seems to work just like on the phone, except we are on the browser right now, which is super cool. So that means we can print straight from here. And check out all the settings we got for the printer. You can adjust the temperatures, axes, LEDs, fan, speed. So I'm going to click on this heat up here. Confirm. And it's going to preheat the bed. Very nice. So we can choose a file or upload. Let's see what happens if we choose one. Okay, so it's going to read the ones that I have in the printer right now. And upload file. I guess you can throw in files in there. So if you want to throw a G-code file in here, it looks like. So let's go back. And we'll find our own file. So let's click on models here. Let's see. Can we search something out? Yeah, let's just search. Alright, so we do have a calibration cube. Let's open it up and we'll go ahead and slice it here right on the browser. Keeps opening new windows. And again here we got to change our printer. Okay, so it's trying to teach us here of everything and how to use it. So let's change it to our printer. CR series. There we go. There we go. That looks much more correct. And now we do have to go through the slicer again. And they do have advanced here also. I believe the phone was the same. So let's just do 0.2 layer height. Infill density. We'll go to 18%. Infill grid. Don't need supports. Skirt. Wall thickness is good. Let's not hide the Z seam. Bottom top thickness. This needs to be much higher. So I'll just do 1.6 or something. Print speed at 50 is good. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. Retraction at 0.8. Seems to work fine, but I think I would bump that up to 1.2 or something for later. Retraction speed is good. Temperatures are good. And that's it. So let's go ahead and click on slice. And then there it goes. So it takes a couple seconds to slice it. And now we have it in our cloud here. So now we're going to click on print. Thinking a little long here on the process. I'll cancel it real quick and see if we're still connected. Devices. Okay, still looks good, I guess. So let's see. We got the camera working. Choose file. Let's try again. Now it's asking us to make sure there's no models there. And there we go. It started. Or it's preparing right now. There we go. Yeah. All right, now it started. Super cool. And look at that. We can see it live there doing its thing. The camera does seem a little over sharpened there. If I did have a complaint. Yeah, there it goes. We're here at the printer and it's just showing us cloud print also. 
and here's our camera here on the side it's getting ready to print the calibration cube very cool that we're able to control the printer in multiple ways we can do it manually like the old days and use our SD card and use like a normal slicer Kira or even Creality or we can just do it on the phone or just do it on the web browser so pretty amazing and quite seamless of how all of it works together